Hey everybody, welcome back to another Spotlight Sunday where I give you another artist to try out each week. This week we're taking a look at the band Scandal. No, not the one from the 80s with Patti Smith. Scandal are a four-piece all-girl Japanese rock band from Osaka. Their members from left to right are Tomomi Ogawa, Haruna Ono, Rina Suzuki and Mami Sasazaki. Formed in 2006 during high school, they originally played street performances until they were noticed and signed by the indie record label Kitty Records, where in 2008 they released three singles exclusive to Tower Records. Two out of the three singles ranked number one on the Tower Indie Charts, and the third ranked number two. Due to this, they performed at six major cities in the US and performed at SakuraCon without even having a major album out yet. Their major debut began in October 2008 with the release of their single Doll. In 2009, they released their major debut album, Best Scandal. Since their first album, their songs have been featured in many anime as both opening and ending themes. Bleach and Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood are just a couple of these. Their discography to date totals a number of 7 studio albums, 2 EPs, 25 singles, as well as live albums, compilation albums and video albums, with plenty of music videos to go along with it all. There's hours upon hours of them, and once again, there's nothing that I don't love out of it all. Their most recent album is called Yellow, and it just happens to be my favourite. I love everything about this band, right down to their individual instruments and personal fashion style. Just look at Tomomi rocking that Fender jazz bass. Every album they've ever released is a gem and can stand on its own without the others. The evolution of their music from their first album through to their most recent album feels so natural. Even though listening to them side by side, they sound very different. Each member of the band has a particular personality that is apparent both on and off stage. Not one of them blends into the background, nor do any of them stand out more than the others. Everyone seems to be in sync, and from what I can tell, they perform because they are genuinely having fun with each other, and the fact that they are getting paid for it is just a bonus. I think that they'd still be performing even if they were never signed, but thankfully that's not the case and they show no signs of slowing down. Currently, they are finishing off their most recent tour for their newest album, Yellow, which has taken them throughout Japan and even as far as the US this time around. That's this week's suggestion. Be sure to check them out, and if you like them, buy their albums. Like the video if you've enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time. Laters! Moon Doll to the full full soundtrack of the Busters, right through to their current album, Stroll and Roll. The fillers produce a consistent, different, and beautiful sound that makes you just want to keep listening to their albums over and over, one after another. Fun fact, most of the characters in the anime